hate crimes against lesbians. How much do we really know? The murders of, les of young lesbians who do not fulfill the mandates of hegemonic femininity send the message to society that their behaviors and even their existence is punished with extreme violence. In recent years, more attention has been paid to murders against women, but the media coverage of specific groups such as lesbians remain to be analyzed. This information is only present in social media networks such as Twitter, for example, with the hashtag Say Her Name campaign. Nicole was a Chilean woman who was 23 years old, disappeared one night after a party in 2016, and was violently murdered. She had previously been a victim of violence in public spaces two other times before her murder without having arrested her assailants. She was a young, poor, and truck woman. Truck woman is a political denomination of le lesbians in Chile that vindicates her masculine gender expression. Two other lesbian women who were murdered at the same time. One in 2008, Maria, who was 19 years old, and the other in 2017, Susanna, which was 23. Therese Lewis was an African-American woman who was 23 years old and was violently murdered one night in Washington, D.C. in 2018. She was a poor black woman who was, who's been in jail and was working in construction. There is available footage found in the of the car Carice was found in as is burning on social media. These two cases interest us because the two women are lesbian and despite having been murdered in very in, in very violent ways, the press only paid attention to the cases found because of social and LGBTI organization claimed that the cases were, were not being investigated. The media generally omits the sexual orientation of victims or highlights other aspects, such as in this case of Caris, the condition of reintegration due to ha having been in prison. We are interested in analyzing the two cases to show what the press represents these murders as isolated cases often admitting the factors that they consider discriminatory in these cases. The women were lesbian, poor, in high-risk areas for the population, uh, and, and on, the con on the contrary, they stand out in the news features that present them as vulnerable, as in this case of Carice pointing out that she has been in prison and, uh, and an orphan. Carice's body was found inside a cremated car with gunshots and signs of torture. In Nicole's case, she was found with her hands tied and her cause of death was her beatings. Both cases present extreme violence given the conditions of her death and the multiple murders against lesbians in her cities, we can think that they were all hate crimes. The term began to be used in the United States in the 1980s. At first, it was used particularly to refer to those crimes against racial or ethnic groups or against certain nationalities, but later it was extended by the demand of civil rights of, of other groups. In this way, the definition is not closed because it is a legal category that is decided in different ways in each territory, whether it's state or country, but it serves <clears throat> to categorize the murders that demonstrate the prejudice of the accused who is the murderer based on race, color, religion, national origin, sex, age, marital status, personal appearance, sexual orientation, family responsibility, physical disability, or even political affiliation, whether it's real or perceived of the victim of su subject of the act. But it is important to bear in mind that it does not matter who is the murderer is, but how the person who is murdered is perceived. The two were perceived as lesbians with masculine characteristics in an environment in which this is disruptive. It is a factor of discrimination added to the extreme violence used in these deaths. It is important to talk about hate crimes or crimes motivated by prejudice because in judicial processes, these are aggravating. That is, they change the sentence of the accused for having violated others as a result of discriminatory prejudices. This sends the opposite signal. People should not be violated by these factors.